Hello everyone, my name is Vertic and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. For this one, we're going to take a look at how to change the colour of a background in Photoshop. Now, just like always, you want to go to File and Open to open your image, or you can simply get yourself the image and drag it into the work area to open it up. The first thing that we want to do is you want to hold Alt or Option key on your keyboard and then scroll up to zoom into the image. This just makes it easier. If you can't do it this way, you can use the zoom tool, which is right here. The first thing that we need to do is we need to left click on the background and then turn this into a layer so we can actually edit it. So the first way is with the object selection tool. I've done a video on my channel, so if you would like to see it more in detail, then I will check out that video. But it's pretty simple to get your head around and there isn't a lot of explaining because it's very simple to use. So to get to the tool, you go to the fourth tool down and then you right click on the quick selection tool or the magic wand and then it will be the top one right here. So this is the object selection tool. Basically the way that this works is you have two options. You can either click on select subject and this will automatically detect what it is that you are trying to select. So as you can see, it's done a pretty good job except from it's missed this little area right here. So it is good. It is accurate, but there will be things that it'll miss. So you will need to just correct a few things here and there. So for example, I just need to hold Alt and then take away from this area right here. What we're doing is we're working backwards. We're selecting the object first and then the background will change it afterwards. Now the other way to use this tool is to left click and drag yourself a box around what it is that you are trying to select. And as you can see, that works just the same, except from this one has actually done a little bit better job than the button. Now the only problem about this tool is you will need the latest version of Photoshop because this is a new feature to Photoshop. So if you have an older version of Photoshop, then don't worry about it. You can still use the quick selection tool. So if you right click on the object selection tool and then swap on over to quick selection tool. This one is basically the same, but you just manually select the areas that you want. You get this brush and then you select the areas you want it to select. Now there's two things that you need to know about the quick selection tool. It's really simple. You have a plus and a minus right at the top here. The plus will add on to the selection and then minus will take away from it. So we need to make sure we are selecting the plus. The keyboard shortcut is the square bracket and then the end square bracket. This will make it smaller or larger. So as you can see, we're pressing the end square bracket to increase the size of the brush. And once you've done that, all you gotta do is left click and drag yourself the selection. So as you can see, it's selecting the object or the person that we wanted to select. Now, what we need to do now is we need to decrease the size. So if you make it smaller with the end square bracket and then select this area right here. We also need to make sure that the hair is not too damaged or too taken away. So if you get yourself the minus, you can start to deselect some of the areas. But we want to leave a little gap just so we can still have a bit of the background. So we don't want to take away too much of it from the image. If you go down to the bottom right here where the mask is and you get yourself a mask. Now, sometimes you can run into problems like this where it's not selected what you want it to select. So if we press Control and Z to undo, what we need to do is we need to invert our selection. And to do this, we go to select and then go down to invert, which is right here. Or you can press Shift, Control and I, and this will invert your selection. So now if we go to the mask button right here, it has done what we wanted to do with the image. But we need to press Ctrl Z, we need to go back to the quick selection tool, and then in here you want to go to select and mask. Once you're in here, you want to get yourself the refine edge tool, which is right here. And then you want to decrease the size a little bit and pretty much go around the hair. So you pretty much just want to go around the hair Make sure you select the bits that you want. Don't go too far into the hair because it can damage it a bit too much. So just gently on the edges, left click and then remove the background like so. Now, if you want to see the edges only, you can click on show edges only and this will show you what you've done. And then you can also see the original by clicking on this button right here. And that's pretty much it. So now that you've refine the hair, you just want to go to the bottom of properties and then go down to output tool and then select a new layer. And then once you've done that, press OK. And as you can see, we've got ourselves no background. So now that we don't have a background, this is the easy part. All you got to do is go down to the bottom, 
to this icon right here, which is a half a circle, and then go all the way up to solid color. You need to make sure you are on the bottom of it as well. And there we go, as you can see, we can now select any color that we want. Now, sometimes you'll run into problems like this where you still have the color cast from the original background. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go ahead and press okay once you've found the right color that you want. And then we're going to get ourselves the brush tool, get yourself a new layer, move this one on top, and then you want to hold alt or option key and then left click and drag it out to make the size larger. We're going to go on the colors at the bottom here and then we're gonna copy the sample of the color. So if you left click, this will copy the color. And then pretty much what you want to do is you want to paint on top of it and then color in the color cast. Now that you've done that, you want to hold control, click on the thumbnail for the person, and then you want to press control J. You want to get rid of the one underneath it. And then on this one, you want to go over to the effects and then set this one to color. And then you just want to turn down the opacity a little bit because it is a little bit too much. Now, another problem that you may run into is, for example, the top has got a little bit of an orange tint to it. And to fix that, all we're gonna do is same as last time, get yourself a new layer. And then in that layer, you wanna select yourself a black color. And then you pretty much want to hold control and then left click on the thumbnail for the layer. And then make sure you are selecting the new layer that you've just created. Set the mode to color and then just paint on top of it. So as you can see, that is a more white color compared to before. We have to be careful on the edges as well. And we're also going to change the hardness to 100. So there you go. It looks a lot better now. The top is more clear and this is more of the original color. Now for me, this top was pretty easy to do because all I had to do was just make it black and white and then that resolved the issue. But let's say yours is a little bit more difficult. For example, down here with the skirt, this will be a little bit more difficult to do this because you will notice the black and white. The other way to do this is really simple. All you gotta do is get yourself the adjustments so if you don't have adjustments, you can go to window and then go down to adjustments, which is right there. So in the adjustments, you wanna get yourself the levels, but you also want to make sure that you are selecting your person or the object that you want it to apply to and then go over to levels. In here, all you gotta do is click the middle one right here and then you want to click on the part where you have the color cast. So I'm going to click on right about down here. So what this will do is it will try to neutralize the color and it will try to reduce it a lot more. But we also want to turn down the opacity of it so it isn't just really extreme. Now, if you're still struggling to remove it, for example, for me, I still have it there, we can go ahead and use the brush tool. So if you go down to this tool right here, right click on it and then go over to the sponge tool. What this will do is it will drain the colors. If we start to apply it, it will start to soak up that color. And this can be really effective, it's starting to get there. And then we're gonna do it to this side as well. And that's pretty much it, that's how you change the background. Now, if you wanna be more advanced with this, then I would recommend using the pen tool, the curvature pen tool, or you can use the magnetic lasso tool, which is right here. So now if you save this as a PDF, so if you go to file, save as, and then in here, make sure it's a PDF, you can always go back to it, re-edit it, and let's say you wanna change the color, all you gotta do is double left click on it, and then change the color in here. So as you can see, we'll keep changing it to whatever color we want. And that is pretty much it. The more time you spend on it, the better it will look, some areas, for example, up here are still visible. So you may need to just keep on editing and just use the eraser tool and just soften the edges a little bit more so they are a lot better. 
But anyway, that's been my video on how to change the color of the background. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe. I have more Photoshop tutorials. But anyway, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.